Yep, what are we going to do here, Cade? Drive the tractor. Drive the tractor. A little bit. We're going to dump this load here, and then we're going to go ahead and load it on the trailer, right? Right. Oh, Gigi's right there. Yeah. Gigi's right there. Good morning, Gigi. Good morning, Bebba girl. <laughs> Ginger loves this weather. It was 35 degrees last night. She likes those cool, crisp mornings. So, Dad was able to bring up two loads yesterday. Two solo loads, so that was a pretty good deal for him. Um, the hose we put on is doing pretty good. It's not leaking and it hasn't blown or anything like that. There it is. So we got that on. Of course, there was a pretty heavy dew last night. So I actually decided to leave the bales on the stacker just because uh, if we set them off, they'd be getting moisture from the ground. And right now, they're not getting any moisture other than whatever was on top from the dew. Now we're going to feel this hay here. It's a little damp, it's not terrible. The sun's been shining on it, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get this stack dumped off and we're going to go ahead and put all this stack on the trailer. Look. Yeah, I see that. And uh, <clears throat> that'll probably be all we put on here because we're not going to get all of it on here. So I'll go ahead and take this hay over to dad's. We'll put this in the barn there. And then by the time I get back, the bales will be dried off in the field. We'll go ahead and pick those up. There's one load and then a little bit, not, not that much. I'll probably just get them in the bed of my truck real quick. And uh, so let's uh, go ahead and dump this load. Hope it stands. And then we'll pick off of it and load on this trailer. We'll head over to Dad's. You ready to go to Pawpaw's? Take a load of hay to Pawpaw's, Cade? Your truck? Yeah, in the blue truck. Oh. Yeah. You like the blue truck, don't you? Oh, really? At a road? Yeah, we're going to go really fast down the road. Yeah. But we don't want to throw all the hay off, do we? No. No, that'd be bad. Uh, uh, uh. Ash. Uh, uh. Ash. Uh. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. We got her loaded. That's only four high. I can go five high. And I get 30. What do I get? 36. 36 on a layer. So I could actually get another 36 on there. But that's only half of the next load. So I still have to make another trip. Unless I can find a place over here to put another 36 bales pretty easily. Then I'll go ahead and stack. We'll make one trip over instead of two trips. So, we'll see. I got a guy from work here coming to get 10 bales of straw. He's seeding some grass in his yard. So we'll get him loaded up. And I may go ahead and go stack that. Pick that up out of the field. See what I can get. All right, got this load here. There is eight bales left out in the field. I'm just gonna throw them in the bed of my truck here whenever I get done. Uh, but I'm going to put another layer on here 
that'll make 180 on here. That'll take 36. So I'll be left with three layers and then four out of another. Or actually, uh, probably, actually four layers because I forgot. I actually have six over here on the ground I forgot about. But uh, before I load them up, I'm going to take the skid steer. I got this back tier shifted this way just a little bit. I'm going to try to push them over that way and then tighten up this top one. And then we'll put another layer. And if I can reach, I might put a sixth layer on there. I've never gone six before, but an old time like the present to try it, huh? Well, got, got her loaded up, don't we, Cade? Yeah. We are ready to roll. Oh. Wait a second. I remembered one thing, Kate. I gotta do something really quick, okay? Really quick. Really quick. Really quick. Uh, ain't going nowhere, man. Ain't going nowhere. Well, we made it. Never stacked it this tall before. So, uh, it rode really well. But, uh, man, we finally got power out to the grapple to be able to rotate it and now the solenoid's bad so i gotta look into getting a new solenoid or i'm gonna check it a little bit more but it, it's everything i've checked so far is leading towards the solenoid being bad we got power going to it so but it has been sitting out for a year which shouldn't make it be bad but whatever i'm gonna get the straps off and we're gonna get this thing unloaded I was able to put, uh, I went six layers high on edge, which is pretty stinking tall for a stack of hay. Um, <clears throat> stacked on edge for sure, going down the road. So anyways, I get 36 bales per layer on one, two, three, four, and five, except for five, I kind of set in a little bit. So then my last two fell off the edge, which was fine. So. And then I put 30 on top. I just did five of, of 10 or three, three grabs of 10, which made 30. So there's 178 up to five. And then another 30 makes 208. And if I, if those two hadn't fallen off the end, that would have been 210, which is about as much as I've ever had on this trailer, even hand stacking it. Uh, and it actually rode really well. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, I'm gonna get these straps off.
right, we got Dad running the tractor now. It is ridiculous how big that thing feels in this barn. Which this is not a big barn, but. to do here because of the width restriction we can put a full five here five wide but then over here we got to go four so we just grab four with the grapple and drop them in here okay give me your hand and jump ready jump look at that watch your step there be careful jumping on these pallets oh see get your foot down in there okay so he's gonna grab those four He's got to make sure they're on the right side of his frame. That way, he can get them in the right way. Right in this hole right here. And then we just do that all the way up. Five, four, five, four, five, four. I say five. Ten and eight, I guess I should be saying. And there's 90 in that stack right there. It'll be 90 in this one. That'll be 180. And here's, here is, here's a prime example of where the squeeze shines. See this all this headroom up here? We can't get another layer in there because you have to have the space above the grapple. With the, with the squeeze, I could get at least another layer up there. But we don't have the squeeze here, so. Just like that. Got 18 bales right in here. Okay, yeah. well, you wanna be the cameraman? Yeah, of course you do. You just want the spotlight, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, my camera just died, so as you can see, Got the last 10 from the trailer and we put four four on top of there he's just gonna pull in here i'm gonna take those four throw them up here and he's gonna put those last 10 up here uh it looks very tight when you're getting up the, this last one here not five high so we decided to put some over here that's the nice thing about that 90 degree turning grapple we just angle the tractor in here turn it 90 degrees and then angle it in there and we were able to put another 30 right there uh-oh down he goes careful now he's got his ant he's got his antler gun here so he's gonna pull in here i'll grab those four off the top and then we'll put those 10 up there on top of these here there's the back side of the barn lots of space up there on top we could definitely get one more layer on edge and then you could be really close but you couldn't quite get the next one but with the squeeze, we could definitely get the full one more layer. But that's okay. We did it all without having to handle any other than just the kind of stragglers. So that's that's successful. Took a long time to do it, but that's just because all the jacking around we gotta do. So all right. We and Kate are gonna load up the grapple. We're gonna take it home with us so I can get that swing that third function going on it do it now so don't forget thank you so much for watching franklin county forge god bless you god bless america franklin county forge out <laughs>